Hello butterfly! Today I want to share with you all of this crafty goodness that I have going on on my craft desk right now. Um, I've been feeding, feeling creatively inspired because I've been watching crafting with litters videos. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Let me try this again. I've been watching crafting with Lillers videos and she's been doing pastel Halloween and I'm loving it because usually I don't craft around this time of year. I'm not too keen on the traditional orange and black colors and then when we segue into the Christmas season I'm not too keen on the green and red colors. So this whole new world has been opened up for me with the pastel colors and all the possibilities of what you can create. I am just having so many crafty sessions, crafting to my heart's content these past few days. And I wanted to share some of the projects that I have created. And if you aren't subscribed to Crafting with Lillard's channel, I highly suggest that you are if you love to craft and paper crafting, embellishments, all sorts of, of goodies. Okay, first things first, I want to show you my desk. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy to me. I know to some of you it might seem like a big old mess, but to me it's just like propelling me to keep creating. Okay, so look at these tins. I didn't realize that Dollar Tree sells these tins and when I saw them I instantly thought of that crepe paper ceramic vintage muffin uh, tin I guess muffin muffin plate I don't know whatever um, that they released a couple years back and some crafty ladies do have it in their videos and I thought it was just perfect that I could just um, spray paint it with whatever color don't mind me I, it's very early right now and I just wanted to share this video and get it up for you because um, I don't I haven't really been putting any videos but I've been feeling so creatively inspired that I just wanted to share with you anywho so this is from Dollar Tree I decided to spray paint it this like beautiful purple color it's by one of those color shot spray paints that I got at AC more but I don't really recommend it because the smell is very very strong it gave me a migraine so if you're sensitive to scents like that I don't recommend it and definitely do it in a well ventilated area and then this is the original color and I kind of like both styles this one I like because all of the pops of color comes from all the little trinkets and things that I put inside and this one is just really dainty and beautiful. So I did that. And now let me try to set the camera up so that I can have my hands free and I'm not really shaky. Okay. Now let me know in the comments, do you guys craft for this holiday season? Um, what are your reasons for doing it or not doing it? Um, okay. So let's go into this little box. So I've seen a lot of crafty ladies making these brooms, like witch's broom, with like different elements. I had these tassels lying around and I did not like them because they're really stiff. And when I look for a tassel, I want it to be um, like flowy and dangly. And so they didn't work for the projects I intended it for. So when I saw them and then I saw the straws that I haven't really used for any projects I thought it was perfect so the tassels are stiff enough for this specific project which is crazy and they already have like this little piece of twine kind of resembling like one of those handmade brooms and then I added the the little bat veneer you can add bows you can add um, any type of element you'd like really but I thought this was so cute. I really, really love how this came out. I really love that. Okay. So I bought a bunch of wood veneers from Dollar Tree. 
and I decided to paint them like very pastel colors and oh my gosh like it's just amazing the stuff that I've been creating okay I also had my kids help me paint it so it was really fun to kind of do like a family activity we had so much fun just painting you know a very effortlessly I let them do whatever they wanted so to my five-year-old my 12 year old they had fun with me so I decided to add different types of elements to the veneers of, embellish of embellishments that I've had in my stash I think this one is by far one of my favorites this one my daughter decided to do the splatter technique and I thought it was just perfect and then I added the flowers and the little eyelashes and this one um, I love the colors so much I think my favorites are the ones that my kids painted I was very while I was painting I was kind of like in the box and they opened up my world to just kind of go ham and do whatever and it really worked so um, that's that then we have the little ghost I think this ghost is so cute this one was painted by my five-year-old and then of course I added flowers because I always need flowers it doesn't matter what time of year and I think that's what makes me the most sad around you know and I get the the winter blues is because I don't see flowers like I literally love and live for flowers and then this is another ghost and I just added some polka dots to it and a little bow she looks so adorable and then this one And we got this guy. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. You can use it for many crafty projects. You can send it to your uh, pen pal and make many different embellishments, memory decks, cards, which I'll show you next. But I really love, like I've always seen these wood veneers and I never really knew what like to use them for, or what I could possibly create with them, but now that I realize you can do so much um, I think I'm gonna like consistently buy them maybe next I'll buy like Christmas trees and create some fun pastel um, Christmas themed things and so here I added the little horn I really love this die it was from Michaels from like one of those little packages I think the five daughter um, stamp and die set and so I really love this die because I feel like it fits anywhere. And just look, she's a ghost unicorn. So that's the thing. <laughs> I really like these colors. Oh man, I just love color. And then this is one of the last ones. Now I want to get more ghosts and like create all colors, but I need to stop. I just I think we're good with the variety of colors we have. Oh, and these I'm going to keep for me because I just thought they were so special. My daughter created this one, and I absolutely love it. It was one of the last ones she made, and then she created this one. And she says she's not very creative. I thought it was just beautiful, so. All right, and then there's some little veneers. There was one. This one was painted by my five-year-old son. I love that one. I'm going to keep that one as well. And then we had different ghosts, different pumpkins. The sun's not too bright right now, so the colors may not be coming off so well. Then I decided to try that technique that my daughter was doing. I kind of like that um, for some of them, they have like a watercolor effect gonna show you some oh man I love this so much okay and I think I have some more over here they also had like some veneers with ghosts so I'll just show you this really quickly but you can see the mess that we made and I'm gonna use this piece of acetate for a project And that's the thing, like once you use the paint, you don't have to waste it. You can use it 
for your junk journals, to make mixed media projects, to die cut the pieces out. So that's that. What do I want to show next? Tell me these little ghosts and pumpkins aren't just perfect. I absolutely love them. Okay. I finally ended up investing in a memory dex dive. And it came from China, so it took forever to get here. Um, I'm actually expecting two more packages and still not here, but at least one of them finally arrived. And I love it. I have never really dabbled with memory decks, although I think I created one, but I just used, you know, my, my whole punch. Anyways, um, so some of you may know that Michaels put out this pastel paper pad called Pinkaboo with all the uh, pastel Halloween goodness and people have been going crazy over it. Um, I had initially seen it as soon as it came out, but I didn't purchase it. And then once I saw people creating with it, I, I had to have it. So I had to raid a bunch of stores to find it. And there was just one where I actually ended up finding it. I know people are having a hard time finding it right now. Um, but uh, I'm glad I did because I really wanted to create with it. So these are the memory dex cards. I cut out a bunch of different cards here because, <clears throat> excuse me, because I knew that I wanted to, um, just to have it ready to go for whenever I decided to create a project with it. So last night I created this one. It says Bruja. Bruja means witch in Spanish. And I really love all those fun, quirky, like Halloween puns that I've seen on certain stationary and stuff so this is not a pun it just says bruja i thought that was kind of cute and funny and um right now it's just plain on the back but i kind of like it simple i know um most crafty ladies usually like really embellished them i'm not quite there yet um i do like um seeing like the paper behind here and all that although i do love the super embellished ones um I kind of appreciate the simplicity of this and this one this is that pun I'm talking about basic witch <laughs> I love it um, if you can see the papers again from that pad I added just a little bat veneer there and then the back is just like this ready to you know for you to write on and then I just put some other ones together using the paper from the paper pad this is like a a spider web paper and I really like that because it has like a bunch of pastel colors on the same paper so depending on where you cut it <clears throat> excuse me that's where you'll um, that's the color you'll get I love this one too see that's again with the spider web I'm thinking you can add like a little spider here if you'd like and there goes the spider so those are those that I've created for this specific uh, crafty sessions. <laughs> um, here's a cupcake liner and I've had these in my stash for a while. I kind of use them, kind of not, but I decided to pull all the pastel stuff that I, that I have, which is a lot because that's my color scheme <clears throat> and just have it ready. Oh man, my throat was dry. <clears throat> guess I'm talking too much again excuse me and um, I just pulled out everything that I have so I have it readily accessible and that it can inspire me <clears throat> while I am creating creating now I also want to quickly share I created this it says die cut stash and it's a little bit difficult to see because the, when the light hits it it makes it harder but um this is a what is it called oh my gosh a gum case and uh i've seen a couple of ladies on instagram use this for their sticker stash so i decided to make one for my die cut stash and i recently went to 
Tuesday morning and I found a bunch of, uh, what is her name? Jen Hadfield, is that what it is? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And I found all these beautiful little die cuts and die cuts are great for layering and embellishments and things like that. So I figured I'd start building up my stash and there's that. So I thought that was really cute and I wanted to share it with you. And what else do we have? Okay, so I wanted to make friend mail being that I already being that I already uh, created some of these goodies. I don't want to just hoard it. I want to like actually send it out and you know bring sunshine to other people. <laughs> so this is just something I put together and it's going to be going out to one of my friends, my crafty friends. And um these are my very first attempts at creating memory decks. Again, I don't feel like I'm some type of professional at this, although creativity is relative, right? Um, we're all different. We all create differently, and I guess that's the beauty of it. So I added one of those little girls from the die cut set that I just showed you. Um, I just thought she looked very, like, ready for fall for some reason. I don't know. And then this is another one the pumpkins although to this one i added like that little those little leaves and it's it's a new dye that i picked up from hobby lobby because they had their dyes on clearance recently and so i wanted to add it to the top i kind of wanted to create a unicorn horn here but then i would be covering up the stump so i don't want to do that um but that's a thought i'm going to show you really quickly because i had you know pre-cut a bunch of things just so that when I started creating I can have them ready but I was thinking something like this and I thought something like this but it would completely cover the what is it called the stump I don't know um if that doesn't bother you you can do that as well I kind of wanted it to show so that you know it's a it's a pumpkin and let's see what else do we have i can't wait to send these things out and here's another memory decks card i created this one says boo and i kind of wanted just the paper to be the highlight of it because it's really pretty i think it's so beautiful and so um i left it as simple as possible but i really love it as well and then here's my first attempt at a, bat, at a bag topper. I've never done any bag toppers at all. Uh, I just took the cupcake liner, a doily, and then another doily that I have because I have a, a die that creates this specific doily, which I find super duper cute. And so I made the doily and I think it's so adorable. So rather I made the bag topper is what I'm trying to say so that's my little bag topper for the little goodies I'm sending out and then this is just like another little embellishment um, doily what is it I can't get the words okay you, you're you know what you're saying <laughs> And I'm gonna send this little broom and so what my my thing is like all of these elements can be taking up can be taken apart and the receiver can use it swap it you know um, stash it hoard it uh, as they please um, all of these little elements can be incorporated into future projects that they should have and there goes that because I use um, I use removable dots so that the person can take it off. Hopefully it'll stay. So I'm thinking while it, it's it's packaged and everything, it'll stay fine. But I didn't want to like adhere it too strong to the paper. Again, so that they're able to use every piece of this embellishment. And here's this guy i love it this is the only ghost i believe that i added the little witch hat and i think it's so cute and then i added the little flower at the end of it 
Again, I added <clears throat> I added uh, stickles to create little polka dots to this one. And I think she looks so cute. I love it. That's that. And I think that is all for, for the crafty things I wanted to share. I think that is it. I also <clears throat> picked up some dyes, not dyes, um, a stamp because I don't have any Halloween stuff in my stash. So I wanted to have something where maybe I could create my own thing. So I picked up this stamp on Tuesday morning and hopefully I can find it to share it. This is a stamp. And I found that it was kind of like generic. I can use it for fall projects. Um, I can even use it for spring. It has a butterfly, it has the leaves. I kind of like having things that are not for one specific holiday because I want to use my stash and make the most of it. You know, get the most bang for my buck, so to speak. So, using those stamps, I stamped and fussy cut these things um i think they're gonna look great on those projects you can color them i personally like them in this uh just white cardstock color with the pops of color from the project you can even use this kind of craft paper to stamp them on too and i think now that is all yeah that is all i hope you really enjoyed these projects and that your creative juices start flowing. I'm definitely having so much fun and there's so many crafty ladies out there doing some great projects for inspiration. So definitely check them out. And I apologize for being so rusty and kind of making no sense at times, but <laughs> this is me. So anywho, thank you so much for watching and remember fly free. Bye.